Well, praise the Lord, all of my friends in Facebook land. Glory to God. It is a glorious Wednesday afternoon, August 9, 2017. And we thank God for allowing us to see another day. We take nothing for granted. Glory to God. Thank God for his goodness and for his mercy and for his grace. And obviously, I'm not worthy. Obviously, you are not worthy. Yet God is gracious and kind to us, and we do not take anything for granted. Today, we are continuing on this uh, small series that we've begun in hope to strengthen and encourage you and hope to push you and hope to heal you and hope to help you and hope to edify you and hope to encourage you. We're hoping it comforts you. We're hoping that it strengthens you in your weakness. We're hoping that it builds you up where you're torn down. Amen. We're hoping that God will use my mouth and say something that will help make a difference in your life and in your drive and in your ministry and in the things of your gifts and abilities and talents that you're using for the glory of Jesus Christ our Lord. Glory to God. I'm not worried about the names, naysayers or the gaysayers or the gainsayers. I'm not worrying, worrying at all about those type of things, but I'm focused on finishing and I'm focused on the prize. As we begin today, I know I've been encouraged to give a few seconds before I start out so that people could join on. I hope somebody will say good morning. Praise the Lord. I'm going to start off. I'm going to just say... Uh, Praise the Lord, everybody. Amen. I'm going to start off by typing praise. The, well, praise the Lord, everybody. Uh, you know, there's some people, they create these Facebook names and you can just type praise. And if you're not careful, you'll pick up their name. Uh, that's crafty and clever. Anyway, uh, so I'm going to just take a couple of minutes, and I guess into the third minute I'll take off with a run, uh, hoping that we can share something today that will equally be a blessing or even greater. Glory to God. I would have you to know real quickly as I digress, it's a challenge sometimes for me uh, when I come forth to you. I'm wearing my healing blue color today. Got my cross on today. Uh, I know I've been tank top and I've been trying to dress down. Uh, I think yesterday I was headed out to a funeral, so I had on my black and I just kept it on. I hope you don't deem this uh, basketball tank top is inappropriate for you. Glory to God. Thank God I'm not too muscular because then I'd have to cover it up because some of you women might not be able to handle that. Glory. <laughs> Well, laughter does the heart good like a medicine. Amen. Well, we give reverence to God, who's the head of our life, and to his darling son, Jesus, our Savior, to the Holy Ghost, our keeper. We thank God for his mercies. We thank God for his grace and his tender love and kindness. We thank God for his compassion and his patience, his long suffering with us. We thank God for being a God of another chance. We thank God for restoring and refreshing and reviving and renewing and rejuvenating and replenishing us. We thank God. We thank God. We thank God. And we thank God. Amen. We thank God for shielding us and sheltering us and thank God for prospering us and protecting us and providing for us. And we thank God for promoting us and for affirming us and confirming us and approving us and anointing us. We thank God for appointing us. We thank God, my God, today for calling us and choosing us and electing us. Glory to God out of the heavens. We thank God for his love and kindness and tender mercies and take absolutely nothing for granted. What a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God we serve. Angels bow before him. Heaven and earth adore him. What a mighty God we serve. Oh, what a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God we serve. Angels bow before him. Heaven and earth adore him. What a mighty God we serve. He is the king of kings he is the lord of lords his name is jesus 
Jesus, 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 oh, he is our king. His name is Jesus, 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 oh, he is our king. Well, what a mighty God we serve. Jesus is the God we serve. Angels bow before him. Heaven and earth adore him. What a mighty God we serve. Oh, what a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God we serve. Angels bow before him. Heaven and earth adore him. Angels bow before him. Heaven and earth adore him. Angels bow before him. Heaven and earth adore him. Angels bow before him. Heaven and earth adore him. What a mighty God we serve. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Bless his wonderful name. What a mighty God we serve. What a mighty, 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 magnanimous, marvelous, miracle, matchless, mind boggling. Oh my God. Today, God, we serve. Hallelujah. No wonder angels bow before him. No wonder heaven and earth adore him. My God, today, no wonder the trees clap their hands and the leaves. My God, today, tremble at his present and is passing by. Glory to God. The wind whisper and sing his name. Glory to God. The birds sing his song. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. All of creation. Hallelujah. Have to give him glory. What a mighty God we serve. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Today, we're going to continue in our series. We've been dealing with how to move on. Today is going to be how to move on part number three. How to move on. I'm going to read in your hearing our passage of scripture for today in Paul's letter to the church at Philippi. That's the book of Philippians, the epistle of Philippians. Philippians chapter number three. I'm going to read in your hearing ear verses 13 and 14. And I am reading from the King James translation of the Holy Bible. And the word of the Lord reads, brethren, I count not myself to have apprehended, but this one thing I do, forgetting those things which are behind and reaching forth unto those things which are brought before, I press towards the mark for the prize of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. Amen. Praise the Lord. How to move on is what we're talking about today, my beloved brother, my beloved sister, because we know that one of the uh, most uh, more uh, challenging issues in the lives of many of us is moving on from something, moving on from someone, moving on from situation, moving on from circumstances, moving on from events, moving on, my God, today. And I need you to know today that you can move on. Hear my shot, my seed. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I want to encourage us today that God has given us the right and the right way and the right away and the ability to move on. You can move on, my beloved brother, my beloved sister. You can move on. Listen, zoologists many years ago shared with us the results of one of their great studies. Many of you have heard about it before. In this great study, zoologists say they took a baby elephant and tied a rope around his ankle. And when they tied the rope around the baby elephant's ankle, they then tied the other end of that rope around a post. And it confined or it prevented the baby elephant from moving beyond a certain parameter, moving beyond a certain scope. He had only so much geographical roaming he could do because of this rope around his ankle and this rope around the post. And zoologists recorded that they left the elephant tied there day by day 
and he would grow and as he would grow they would loosen the noose on his ankle just large enough to grow with him my god today that's a revelation by itself and zoologists gave the report that after the elephant was well grown strong and vibrant and had the ability to roam and throw its weight around and move as it would and he was at the a level of maturity he was at the adult stage where he could now go and become uh, the leader of his own group of elephants they took the noose off of his ankle and they even loosed the noose off of the post uh, considering that even something visual might have an effect on him but what they discovered is that even though they turned the elephant a loose it would not move beyond the parameters that it had been tied to for many years now I want you to think about that because it had decided or considered that it was impossible for it to move on any further. I think somebody's getting this already. I can just feel you in my spirit. I, I think you're getting it already. Somebody's feeling it already. I can feel it in my spirit that you're getting it. See, 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 what happened, I believe, is something psychological happened as a result of it being tied to a post. Oh, I wish I had somebody. I wish I had some real people that won't admit that there's some things that has happened to you and it traumatized you. It affected you mentally to the point, yes, yes, some things happened to us and we suffered some physical things. I, I, I understand that. There are some things that happened to us and, and we suffered some emotional things. I, I, I understand that. I'm sensitive to that. There's some stuff that happened to us that affected some of us socially. I, I get that. I, I understand that. There are some things that have happened to us that have affected us monetarily. I, I get that. I understand. There are some th stuff that have happened to us uh, that affected our relationships with other people. But, but if we be honest about the things we've gone through and the things we've had to deal with in our lives, there are some things that have affected us immensely psychologically. Now, some of you might not have really thought about it this way. Some of you are going to be too hypocritical to admit the truth about yourself. You might say, well, uh, I don't know if I'm psychologically uh, imbalanced by what I went through. My God today. You might think that you haven't been traumatized. Uh, but what happened is, is that uh, there has been a, a slight impose, which has caused a slight implode to happen to many of us as a result of some things we dealt with. Why? Because even though we're way past the season of what happened to us, we still remember having had our ankle tied up and I haven't had uh, the other end of the tie hooked to a post that prevented parameters for us to reach out and become the greatness that God said we are. We found ourselves challenging and find ourselves uh, fighting to try to become who God said we are to become. We have found ourselves, we see the vision and we see the promised land given to us and we see, my God, today, our ability to go further. We've been singing the song like, my God, today, the boy that said, I believe I can fly. And we sung the song, I believe I can fly. But when we stretch our wings and get ready to fly, it seemed like we only fly so high. Look like we can only fly so far. And it's because psychologically in our minds, we are still tied up to a past event, a past hurt, a past disappointment, a past discouragement. It is past us. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And the interesting thing about it, my beloved brothers and my beloved sisters, is even though we've passed those things we have not learned to say lord i thank you that i made it through glory to god we have not learned to say lord i thank you that even though the thing was hard and even though the thing was tough was rugged and even though the thing was harmful and even though the thing was hurtful and even though the thing was troublous and even even though the thing was trivial i made it through it's behind me and we have to learn to look forward and don't look back glory to god Hallelujah. So let's quickly delve into the text so that we can close. He says, brethren, I count not myself to have apprehended. So our first principle is that we might, in order to move on, we have to stop being so focused on self. Glory to God. 
We have to, that's your first step toward moving on past that hurtful thing. Moving on past that hurtful event. Moving on past that hurtful memory. Your first step is to take your eyes off of yourself. Stop looking at yourself. That's one of the tricks of the enemy he do to us. He make us start to looking at all oh, what happened to me. All oh, what they did to me. All oh, what she said to me. Oh, what he said to me. Oh, how they treated me. Oh, how they did me. Oh, how they forgot about me. Oh, how they laughed at me. Oh, how they lied on me. And if we don't watch out before we know it, we're so focused on ourselves and we don't even really realize that we're focused on ourselves. Glory to God. Am I talking to anybody? Hallelujah. So the first principle we get here, Paul said, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm not going to count myself. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Watch it. I'm not going to just get so focused on myself, my God, today. I just start deep di uh, digging a ditch for myself of depression. Glory to God. But watch it. I'm not going to count myself out. I'm not going to count myself out just because of what I've been through. I wish I had somebody. That's a word for somebody today. Glory to God. I refuse to count myself out because of my weakness. I refuse to count myself out because of my shortcoming. I refuse to count myself out because of my uh, error. I refuse to count myself out because of my mistake. That's why they made erasers. Glory to God. I refuse to count myself out because I'm not be. I'm not. I refuse to count myself out because I'm not where I wish I could be. I refuse to count myself out because I'm not where I know I should be by now. I refuse to end it. Glory to God. I know I haven't arrived yet. Thank you, Jesus. And many of us, we look at ourselves and we get disgusted that we haven't arrived because we look around ourselves and we look more at tangible things. We look at what we have or what we don't have. Glory to God. To determine whether our spirits are going to be high or low. Glory to God. Whether we're going to wake up and say, Lord, I thank you for a new day's journey. We, de we determine that by what we possess. We look in the garage or in the driveway or in front of the house to see what we're driving or not. And that determines to many of us uh, whether or not we're going to say law things. But we've got to learn to stop counting ourselves out based on not is going to dissolve one day. Glory to God. So Paul said, I count not myself to have apprehended. He said, but this one thing I do, the first thing Paul said I'm going to do, he said, forgetting those things. Hallelujah. See, I told you psychologically the elephant had been tied up all its life. Glory to God. Many of you have been going through stuff all your life. Many of you, all you've ever known was poverty. Many of you, all you ever knew is your whole generation, your whole family grew up in the projects and that's all you've ever seen. Many of you always knew what it was like to go through abusive situations, violence and hardships. Many of you, all you know what it's like to go through injustices. My God today, you don't know my story. If you knew the things that I've gone through, your mind would be blown that I'm even sitting here talking to you right now. But that's what the songwriter said. You don't know my story. I don't know your story, but every one of us have one. But Paul said, the one thing I want to do is the first principle I need to put in place in order to move on i need to forget those things now that's the first fruit of your challenge my beloved brother my beloved sister the first fruit of your challenge the first fruit of your warfare my god today internally is the fight to forget glory to god hallelujah glory to god fight to forget it glory to god fight to forget it the devil gonna come back and remind you of what you've been through the devil's gonna come back and remind you of what you've been through the devil's gonna come back and remind you of what you've been through the devil's going to remind you of who did you what. But you've got to fight to forget about it. Glory to God. Hallelujah. They even talk. You can forgive, but you won't forget. Well, the devil is a lie. I'm forgetting about it. Paul said, listen, if you're going to move on, Paul learned how to move on. Glory to God. Hallelujah. He learned how to move on past his old flesh. He learned how. move on past his old, old errors he made. Paul made a lot of mistakes. He messed up a lot. He did a lot of evil, ugly things to people. Paul did a lot of evil, ugly things to He did a lot of ugly things to God and the name of Christ Jesus. Paul did a lot of ugly things and he thought of righteous in his own eyes. Glory to God. But despite 
spite of it all, Paul said, listen, the first thing, I did those things because they're behind me. That's why I'm forgetting. Well, how can you say they're behind you, Paul, when you're still traumatized by because I made it to lose my mind? I made it through. Glory to God. If I didn't do you, if I lost my way and I recovered, I made it through. Glory to God. My God today, if I left but I returned, I recovered. Glory to God. I've won. Glory to God. I've conquered it. I've overcome it. Glory to God. If I fell down but I was able to get back up, I've overcome so I can forget it. Glory to God. My God today, if I messed up, glory to God, but I was able to clean up, then I've overcome. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I've got the victory. Thank you, Jesus. So Paul said, one thing I do, I'm forgetting those things what you're behind. In other words, I'm going to stop looking at all my faults. I'm going to stop looking at all my errors. I'm going to stop looking at all my mistakes and I'm going to stop calling those the reasons why I didn't get to where I want to be. I'm going to stop calling those things the reason why I haven't made it so far. I'm going to stop giving all those things power, my God, today in my future. Look over to God. They tried to take power in my past, but thanks be to God who always given us the victory and caused us to triumph through Christ Jesus have given us the ability, my beloved brother, my beloved sister, to make it on through. And we passed those things. So Paul said, I'm forgetting those things which are behind me. My God today. And the third, the second principle he gave us after we forget those things behind us, what did he say? He said, I'm reaching. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. My God today. I'm speaking to somebody today. Glory to God. It's time for you to start reaching. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Matter of fact, I hear the Holy Ghost saying to tell you it's in your reach. Hallelujah. Woo, shy. That's a word, my God, today. The Holy Ghost said to tell you it's beloved, it's in your reach. Hallelujah. Paul said, I'm reaching. I'm reaching forth. Hallelujah. I'm not reaching behind me. See, many of you, you keep reaching behind you. Glory to God. I saw a woman one time driving, and she put a purse in the back seat. And while she was driving, she must have thought about something she felt like she needed. She felt it couldn't wait. And while she driving, she kept trying to reach behind her and get what she needed. And she started losing control of the vehicle. Many of you, your life is out of control and spinning out of control. And many of you, my God, today your emotions are spinning out of control. Many of you, your sexuality is spinning out of control. Many of you, my God. God today, your money spending is out of control. Many of you, your money management is out of control. Many of you, my God, today, your thought life is out of control. Many of you, your marriages and relationships are out of control, and they're spinning out of control because you keep reaching behind you. Glory to God. Paul said, I'm not reaching behind them behind me because everything thing behind me is the past and the past is supposed to be one thing buried glory to god hallelujah glory to god our history is not supposed to be my god today made it and you gonna make it glory to god the, our, our history is best glory to god but one thing i had to do is stop reaching behind me glory to god i'm not paul said i'm not reaching behind me i'm reaching forward my god today watch it he said one thing i do i forget those things and the second principle we do is we reach forward. my god today unto those things glory to god when you reach forward you just can't reach forward miscellaneous my beloved brother my beloved sister you can't just reach forward with no direction you can't reach forward with no intent you can't reach forward with no purpose Purpose. You've got to have an intent. You've got to have a focus. You've got to have a goal set. Glory to God. Paul said, I'm reaching to those things. My God, today, God, Paul had his eyes, part me, on something. Paul had his eyes on something greater and something better. Glory to God. Paul said, listen, I don't want to miss the prize. My God, today. So I'm reaching and I'm not just reaching. Glory to God, just to reach. Glory to God. I'm reaching after something. I don't know about you, but I'm after something better. of mind. Hallelujah. Reach for that better emotion. Glory to God. Bless his wonderful name. Reach my beloved. Reach my beloved sister. Reach. Hallelujah. Reach for Paul said I'm
Paul said, I'm forgetting my God today what's behind me. Hallelujah. I'm forgetting what's behind me because I'm focusing what's in front of me. But not only am I forgetting what's behind me, I'm my God today, I'm reaching, glory to God. I'm reaching for what is in front of me. Bless his wonderful and holy name. I'm forgetting what's behind me and I'm reaching for what to God. Hallelujah. I'm reaching with focus and intent and purpose. He said, I pray. Yes, glory to God. Hallelujah. That's a word for you today. When you leave this broadcast today, I want you to. I'm encouraged. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. I'm encouraged to get there. Hallelujah. I'm fighting my way. I'm pressing my way. Paul said, I press toward the mark. Hallelujah. For the prize. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Paul called it a prize because he said, what's in front of me is so much better than what's behind me. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. What's in front of me is so much better than what's behind me. Glory to God. What's behind me is the mistake I made, but what's in front of me, glory to God, is the correction I'm going to make. Glory to God. What's behind me is the fall I made, but glory to God. What's in front of me is my straight walk. Hallelujah. What's behind me, glory to God, is the pit you dug for me. But what's in front of me is the palace waiting on me, glory to God. What's behind me, glory to God, is my weakness. But what's in front of me is my strength. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Wonderful name. What's behind me? is more than enough. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. What's behind me is the old me, but what's in front of me is the new me. That's why I'm reaching and I'm pressing. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, wonderful Savior. God. I never could hear. It's calling me. It's calling me, my God, today to be able to say what I never could say. It's calling me to have what I never could have. It's calling me, hallelujah, to do what I never could do. Glory to God. It's to be able to lay Hold on what's untangible. It's calling me to be able to do what's impossible. It's calling me, my God, to move what's immovable. It's calling me to see what's invisible. It's calling me to hear what's unheardable. Glory to God. It's calling me into the supernatural. It's calling me, my God, into the incredible. It's calling me into the miraculous. Glory to God. That's the reason why I'm reaching and I'm pressing. Glory to God. I'm reaching and I'm pressing. I got to close. But listen, we're learning how to move on today. I want to tell you about a woman you heard of before was a woman with an issue of blood. The Bible says she had it for 12 long years. And when you read biblical history, it recalls that she was a social outcast. She was, my God, today, she was a menace to society. She was considered very very unclean. She was considered immoral. She was considered, my God, today, unworthy to be around other people. She was, uh, my God, today, ostracized, if you will. Glory to God. what she needed. The woman knew her healing. She could see it afar off. Glory to God. I've got healing one day and it's in Jesus. Glory to God. My God never said there were many crowds out there, many people. Glory to God. And none of those people People might not have had the same issue she had, but the Bible said that woman knew, my God, today that Jesus was in her reach. And what did she do? She began to press and reach. Glory to God. She began to press and reach. Glory to God. The woman began to press and reach. Glory to God. My God, today. And when she pressed and reached, it wasn't long before she touched. Glory to God. My God, today, and when she pressed and reached, the next thing you know, she touched, and my God, ain't whole from her infirmity. Glory to God. So I'm saying to you today, my beloved brother, I'm saying to you, my beloved sister, press and reach. I'm telling you how to move on. Pre the devil going to keep trying to get, get about it and press and reach. Glory to God about it. My God, today, one of the ways you wipe it out of your memory.
spirit is to confess the truth about yourself. One of the ways you wipe it out of your memory and say, Lord, I don't thought I, I thought futile thought, clean imagination. God, I touched what I shouldn't have touched. I, I did what I shouldn't have done. And Lord, I said what I shouldn't have said. And I'm asking you to forgive me, God. Have mercy on me and wash me in the blood of Jesus and strengthen me that I don't do it again. And once you got it right with me, accept that the slate is clean and forgive yourself. Glory to God. Forgive yourself for whatever part you had in the matter. Glory to God. And then once you forget about it, press and reach. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Press and reach. Press through the disgust. Press through the disappointment. Press through the discouragement. Press through the hardship, press through the heartache. Press through the hard memories. Press through the sadness. Press through the grief. Press through your sorrows. Press through your fears. Press, my beloved brother. Press. My beloved sister. Press. Hallelujah. Help. Hey, Sha. Masi. Moria. Sandu. Namas. Press my God, press my beloved brother, press and reach. I know they're telling you to stop pressing. The devil trying to tell you you don't have a right to press, but the devil is a lie. Eh, my I know some of these religious preachers gonna tell you you don't have the right to press. They gonna tell you you're not pure enough to press. My God. Not today, but I want you to remember that woman was a social outcast. Everybody called her filthy and unclean. What but one she didn't let nobody she didn't let nobody Day. And while many of them were standing around trying to stand level with Jesus, that woman got down to the low place because she said, I'm low down and dirty. So I'm going to get low and I'm going to press and reach until I touch him. Glory to God. And when she got low, pressed and touched him, Jesus picked her up and stood up. Glory to God. In front of everybody, everybody that had mocked her, everybody that had scoffed her, everybody that had made sport of her, everybody that talked about her, everybody that jeered at her, everybody that blasphemer, everybody that slandered her, everybody that gossiped about her name, everybody that put her name on the highway, everybody that put her name on the gallop pole, everybody that said she would never be nothing, everybody that said she'd never amount to nothing, everybody that said she'll never change, everybody that said she'll never, my God, today be any better, everybody that said she'll never come out of her condition, everybody that said she'll never shake that issue, everybody that never said, said she'll never get stronger than a week. Everybody that declared evil over her, everybody that spoke prophecies of ever up in front of all of them. Woman, my God, today your faith have made you whole. Glory to God. Go in peace. Hallelujah. What do you mean, Jesus? How did my faith make me whole? Because my faith caused me to press and to reach. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We're talking about how to move on, part three. Today we learn to forget about it and then to press, to reach and to press, pardon me. We learn to forget about it, press and reach, and then don't you forget, Apostle Paul taught us in verse 13, never count yourself out. Hallelujah! Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. I want you to say to yourself today, today I declare before God that I will never again count myself out of the best. I'll never again count myself out from prospering. I'll never again count myself out from being healed. I'll never count myself out from getting the best job. I'll never count myself out from driving the best car. 
I'll never count myself out from getting married to the best man, the best woman, and negative principles that tell me why not. And I'm going to put in place of that a scripture, Philippians 4.13, to say I can do all things through Christ, Christ to strengthen me. And then I'm going to press my way, and I'm going to reach forward. Amen? Praise God. I hope the, I hope it touched your heart. hope it touched your life. I hope I said some things that will, my God, today, spirit, and make your spirit man leap. My God, today, like you're pregnant with a baby. I hope it made it feel you feel like you could go climb a highest mountain. I hope that that word of God encouraged you in such a way that your mind is made up now that you are going to make it, that you can make it, and you will make it. Hallelujah. And glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Victory is mine. And victory is is ours today. So we're telling Satan, get thee behind. Victory today is yours and mine. Oh, victory is ours. Jesus took kindness. So victory today is yours and mine. Oh, victory is ours. Victory today is ours. Jesus told Satan, yeah, so victory today is yours and mine. Hallelujah. Glory to God. God bless you. Grace and peace. That's my time. My beloved brother, my beloved sister, you pray for me. My name is Donald Ray. Pray for you and watch these things. I want you to expect it now.